What is going on guys, it's Reflex here, and now this video topic was requested by a subscriber that goes by the name of The Elemental Realist, and he left a comment on my video a couple days ago. Now his comment says, I get so annoyed when people put out misinformation about whether the game was delayed. Recently one YouTuber tried to say that it was delayed since after KH2, and that they could have made KH3 right after KH2 came out. Then he goes on to say, I would love to hear your perspective on everyone alleging it was postponed or delayed. There are some crazy arguments out there that need to be countered. And to be honest, I've been wanting to do a video about this topic as well because I get annoyed just like most people do when the comments that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to get delayed again. And personally, it's come down to the point where I don't even take these comments seriously anymore, but then I see an argument spark about the topic and I realize that people actually believe it's true. And there's other arguments as well that I'll go ahead and talk about later, but let's get into the main argument. Now let's start with the main question, has Kingdom Hearts 3 ever been delayed? And I'm not, I'm not talking about delayed within the company because that's not the same version as being delayed at a commercial level. But the answer is a flat out no. And to be honest, I don't quite understand where the idea of it being delayed previously comes from because let's just think of the definition of the word delay and it means to be late or postponed. So with that being said, now let's look at the facts. Since the first revealed trailer, June 10th 2013 until June 16th 2015 it has always said now in development. Now the next trailer after was the orchestra trailer but it didn't have any release day or even anything after it just said CSND 23 for the new trailer. But if you think about it by going by the definition of delay it seems very impossible to be late or to have postponed a release that hasn't even been announced. Then on July 15, 2017, we also got the Toy Story trailer at D23, which is the first time at the end of the trailer it said coming 2018, and it has been at the end of every other trailer, except for the most recent one, which was the classic trailer, but that one really doesn't count, just because, you know, it was a really short, it was like a minute long. But the coming 2018 has been at the end of every other trailer. So if we think of the facts again with delay meaning late or postponed, then you realize it can't officially be considered delayed until 2019 or when they actually finally release the release date and then it would be considered delayed if it was one day after that or any time after that. So that's why this whole Kingdom Hearts 3 has been delayed thing kind of, you know, irritates me because it really doesn't make sense because people contradict themselves in their own arguments. But now here's one argument that can go both ways because I've seen some people say that the changes of the engine was a delay as well as the internal delays within the company. But unless we work at Square, then how does their internal schedule apply to us? Because we see the words now in development or coming 2018, so as fans waiting for a game, what happens in the company itself doesn't apply to us until those internal delays start preventing a release that's actually scheduled. But if you still don't get it, let me give a real life example, and it's kind of hard to give a proper example considering it really like since we technically don't have KH3, then it kind of doesn't work, but just think of it this way. You go to Walmart, you want some cereal, so you go to Walmart, and the stocker there has been stocking cereal, we'll say, for about 15 minutes, and randomly, you know, he's a clumsy stocker worker, so he drops a box of cereal and steps on it and makes a mess and has to clean it up. So while he has to go to get the supplies and clean it up, you show up to the aisle to get your whatever brand of cereal you want. And you see the mess, but it's not your job, so it's not your concern, so you just went to grab your cereal, paid for it, and left without any delay whatsoever. But the person stocking the shelves had an internal delay with cleaning a mess, which is postponing him from his stocking job. So if you think about it, there might have been a delay in the company itself, but it wasn't a delay to the customer. Now there are cases where a company's internal delay can prevent you from getting what you want, but technically since their release date hasn't been officially announced, any internal delays mean nothing until 2019 rolls around, or at least until we get an actual release date. And then the next argument that I see is that Kingdom Hearts 3 could have been made right after Kingdom Hearts 2. And this argument makes no sense to me because was Kingdom Hearts 3 announced right after Kingdom Hearts 2? No, this argument makes it seem like spinoffs didn't exist. Because by that logic, I guess Kingdom Hearts 3 Final Mix is delayed right now too, because I mean, it hasn't been announced yet, but technically I just announced it with my vocal cords, so therefore it's delayed. And if you think about it, that's how flawed these arguments are. Now there is some good arguments, like was it delayed at an internal standpoint? Yes, but at a commercial level that everyone's arguments is being based over, it has not. So that's where it kind of becomes a little bit of like, what exactly sides are we talking about? Because there's been some people, for instance, Terra Riku, he or she, I'm not sure which, but has talked about, you know, changing the engines was a sign of a delay, which internally, yes, but commercially, no. So we got to understand, like, before you get into these arguments, you got to understand 
what that person is talking about. So just ask them, are you talking about an internal delay or are you talking about a commercial delay? And then you can have your debate. Because both sides are technically correct. But the moral of the story is Kingdom Hearts 3 has never been delayed at a commercial level, not even once. So the next time you get into an argument about that topic, either send them to this video or just throw a dictionary at them. Because until the year 2019 rolls around or we get an official release date, Kingdom Hearts 3 is right on schedule. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video and hopefully it shed a little bit of light on this argument. And hopefully you guys understand that some cases those people are right, depending on what they're talking about. In other cases, they are wrong. But yeah, hopefully it made sense to you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy because I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. But I was kind of afraid to, to be quite honest, just because I knew I was going to get on someone's nerves. Like some people, they get mad if you say it's been delayed or if you said it hasn't. So I know I'm going to see some probably bad comments or something in there, but... Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I ain't gonna argue with them. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and you guys know the drill. I will see you guys later.